guys, it's April, and I'm going to talk about these guys. As always, I will handle this review the same way I do in all of my other reviews. I will have the non-spoiler section up front, and then the spoil-filled dump of everything afterwards, and I will let you know when that happens. So, The Protector of the Small series by Tamira Pierce. This is the story of Kel of Mindelin, who decides to become the second Lady Knight of the Realm. And this follows her whole journey as she goes through the process of becoming a Lady Knight. All the things she has to deal with since this time around, as this female becomes a knight, everybody knows that she's female. She's not hiding the fact. So she has to deal with a lot, a lot of prejudice. And of course, Cal is a completely different character than Alana, which I think in this case is a very very good thing. This series consists of the first test, Paige, Squire, and Lady Knight. So you start out on Cal's journey where her first year she's pretty much on probation. People don't know what this whole Lady Knight thing is going to consist of. And you don't have to have read the other series to get to this series, but there are spoilers in this series for both the Alana and the Immortal series. You do see a lot of those characters in this series. So in the first book you get to see Kel discovering what it takes to deal with all the things that she is going to have to deal with. There are a lot of boys and a lot of men who aren't keen on this whole girls invading this knighthood. So there, she's getting a lot of pushback from both her peers and from higher ups, but she's bound and determined to see this process through. Which leads us into Paige. Here you get to see all of the later years of her becoming a page. All of them are condensed down into this one book where she continues on with the friendships she is forming, the training she is doing, and starting to show that maybe she's supposed to be a knight. Maybe she knows her own business. And then of course you have her squire years where she's training even more. She's dealing with a lot more. She's starting to see what knighthood is actually going to mean for her. But last but not least, the epic conclusion of her first real situation while being a lady knight. One thing to note with this whole series is that there isn't a huge overlaying story arc between all of the books. It's mainly just seeing Kel's journey through all of these years. There are subtle hints for everything that climaxes inside of this story right here, but it isn't the focus of the earlier books. This is also the first series that I got to read as they were being released. So that was a new experience for me. The first time around, I wasn't so keen on this series. I didn't connect with Kel at all. She wasn't a character I really truly enjoyed. She was strong in ways I didn't quite understand. But now, looking back, having dealt with all the things I have dealt with in my life, I understand Kel a lot more. I like her character maybe even slightly more than Alana this time around, mainly because Kel is actually coming at all of this as a woman. She is breaking out into this industry with everybody knowing who she is, so she's getting a lot more pushback than Alana ever saw in her early years. She didn't get a lot of that pushback from everybody else around her until they discovered that she was a girl. So there was this time frame that Alana didn't have to deal with a lot of this stuff that in this case Kel did. And I also like seeing snippets of all of my other favorite characters. I think the first time around when I read this last book I must have just been like speeding through the story because at the very beginning I didn't remember a lot of it to be honest with you. But going back now, doing this reread, I get to see a different side of Dane and Numer, who are my two all-time favorite characters, and seeing them in this book makes me love this book even more. And one thing I really, really like about Tamira Pierce's series is that they've got these strong female characters in romance isn't the center focus of anything. Kel's story is so unromantic that it's just amazing. It isn't about finding her final partner. It isn't about finding that happy ever after. It's about doing her job. It's about protecting these people. And Kel is one of those people that I admire because she has this focus on this task that these are the people I'm trying to protect. And while I might get in trouble for making some of the decisions that I am making, I know it is for the best for the people I'm trying to serve. And that is why I truly enjoyed the series. Like I said, the first time around, I wasn't too keen on this. It was probably Probably my least favorite of the series, but going back, I am so glad that I did this reread because Kel has definitely, definitely grown on me so much. Now here is the point in which 
I say if you haven't read the series and don't want to spoil yourself, leave and come back when you do. I highly recommend that you read the series. I love it so much. Love, 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 love all of these books. But now I am going to go into some thought dumps that may probably most likely contain spoilers. So if you don't want to spoil yourself, this is where you politely exit. So I don't really have a huge amount of spoiler word dump things that I haven't already said. Like I said, I connected to Kel so much more this time around, just dealing with my background and coming into a very male dominated industry and having to prove yourself twice as much than your male counterparts. I get that. I get that now. And I think the first time around, I didn't understand Kel's character, how reserved but protective she is. And most of the stories you get this either a very strong, assertive woman like Alana, or you get this very independent but caring person like Dane. So coming in and getting Kel, who doesn't show a lot of emotions, but is very, very protective of people, that was a different kind of dynamic. So I don't think I quite understood it the first time around and I didn't quite connect to it. Seeing how Kel is and how she puts emotion second and accomplishes so much and picks up all these strays, which involves all of this emotion. She just, she understands how to play with her emotions, I think is more of what it is in this story. I am babbling at this point. I don't even know if I am making any sense whatsoever. And there are hints of romances between different characters and what could develop, but I like the fact that Kel's romantic life took a huge backstage to everything else that went on. Yeah, she did dabble over here, but it didn't conclude in this, I found a man and my life is complete, I'm gonna continue being a lady knight. I do like how Alana's series ended with George. They just made sense in my head, but there is people in life who don't necessarily find that partner, but they're okay. And I like that this series grasped onto that. There wasn't this pairing up at the end, or even, I don't think ever, if I'm remembering correctly, and the fact that that is a thing kind of makes me happy. The fact that she doesn't need someone that isn't her focus that isn't what she's all about. She just loves protecting people and animals. And I love how animals come into play with all of the sparrows and with Jump and everybody else. Just seeing all of that develop and how Kel is becoming this collector of strays. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that so much. And I'm really, really excited to get to the rest of the series. If you have read any of these, since I'm assuming you got this far, tell me down below so we can start a conversation in a heart to riddle faces. Bye.